after rooting around a little longer, I found a King George penny from 1929. Well, after I cleaned it off again and looked at it closer, it's actually 1928, not 1929. Good, nice find, and the, the nail was kind of masking it a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, the oyster you... shell is kind of a good indication that there was a lot of native activity in the area, right? Yeah, I didn't know uh, that uh, Lake Ontario had oysters. Still has the mother of pearl inside of it. Oh. That's a, that's a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I just pulled out a large scent. Oh, no way. <laughs> just like that in my hand. <laughs> okay. Here I was getting ready to set up for this shot to see what my target is because I don't know what it is yet <laughs> and she pulls up a large set <laughs> I... <laughs> it almost fell out of my fingers <laughs> I thought I had silver that's why I was asking what number silver was and she couldn't contain herself <laughs> all right so let's see what it is oh and you know what? She's gonna freak out because this is not a large scent. This is an American or or, or it's a token. Oh. That is not a large penny. It's Holy just cow. big. <laughs> All right. Okay, hold on. That's a cut. <laughs> I'm changing the camera angle for this one. Okay, so let's see what this thing is. Wow. You know, look at that. She's a, she's a pretty slick. Mm. It's really like thick, though. It's very thick. And it's not exactly round but it's round yeah it's pretty uh pretty oblong what would you call that it looks like it's squished yeah but wow you should see some details on it all right i'm gonna try my old uh, knee trick Get your pinpoint around. that is so slick man i see just a little bit there's a couple couple marks on there Oh, I see something. I think I see something. <laughs> yeah, wow. she's a real, she's a real slicker. I don't see anything on this side, but on this side, I see something that looks like an almost like a little angel or something. Looks like it's part of a shield. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Do you see it? Yeah, do I ever. Oh. <laughs> I can't be a large size. It's too fat. It's very fat. <laughs> I'm I, I almost see like a round, I almost see the roundness of like a large penny where it'd be round with the little leaves going around it. But it seems really thick for a large penny. But I don't know. This one we'll have to wait until later and see if we can get a little bit more closer detail. But I think see something in there that does kind of look like that. Mm -hmm. So it might just be a large penny, but it's the thickest squished large penny I've ever seen, if that makes any sense. But, all right, this is a mystery. Let's get back to my target now. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay, so now I can probably get to my target now. <sighs> Let's get my rag out. All right, I'm hoping that I got another dirt. Oh, I don't think I did. Oh, seriously? Okay. <laughs> nope. Oh, I dropped it. Okay. Now I got it in here. Okay, mine is a coin too. Oh, nice. Well, I was correct about the... Uh, I was correct about the type of coin. It's, a, it's one of the earlier 20 ones. Not as exciting as Judy's though. 1932. Ah, nice! So it's the uh, 1932 type. And I got a 28. Yeah, she got a 28. So this one was down at, uh, well, you saw it about, down at about six inches. That was really loud. So here, listen. Can you hear that? 
I ended up changing the, the threshold tone on uh, Judy's detector to match mine because her tones weren't coming in the same. So I, I changed the pitch of the threshold and now she's going to get, I'm using her detector now because I said use my detector because I seem to be getting the better tones at a lower, at a, at a, at a, at a at more depth. She wasn't getting the same tone so she was discouraged thinking that this machine wasn't working properly. So I was using it and I changed the threshold tone and uh, lo and behold now she can hear this look. She's kind of deaf, she's wearing the headphones. But nice and loud now. So there you go. That's a nice one. Mm, good condition too. I like this area. Yeah. But boy, I'm happy for her getting that token right in the middle of my live dig. <laughs> Guess what? I'm after another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. I'm going to bury my hole. <laughs> Oops. Put that right there, Berlin. Doing it again, and she's she got something else. What yeah. do you got now? I think it's a button. Okay, that or means I gotta. A bottle cap. I'm not sure. Why don't you bring? Why don't you bring it over here so I don't come over to you? Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense, doesn't it, folks? Instead of me moving the camera over there, why doesn't she walk over to me? Oh no. It's not a bottle, it's, it's a bottle cap, but it's a whiskey bottle cap. You know those, oh, it's got some nice writing on there. Oh no, it's a bear, bear oh. aspirin. It's a bear aspirin, little, little tiny little uh, oh, yeah. lid for a bear aspirin. There you go. Oh, it's not there. a button. <laughs> no, but it was in the button range and really close to where she dug up that uh, token. So it's yeah. definitely something you're going to dig, right? And there's something else in the plug too. So. Yeah. And she got something else in the plug, but I ain't turning the camera back on for that. <laughs> Unless, it's, Unless not, it's really good. Unless it's really good. Hey, give me my bare uh, aspirin lid. <laughs> okay, so I got a target here. I'll let you listen again. Oh. Uh, 50% at this if it is as deep as it's saying sometimes the clad dimes do not tell the truth on this detector as far as its depth is concerned okay I actually got it in the plug right here okay being this deep I don't think it's gonna be a clad dime because a clad dime wouldn't have read it wouldn't be this deep if it was a clad dime. Oh, I feel it right there. Well, <laughs> it's nothing spectacular, this one. There you go. I think it's part of a, uh, yeah, it's a piece of tin foil. Yep. Huh. Yeah, look at that big piece of hard tin foil that was munched up into a bunch. There we go, that's what it was. Boo! Okay, so I detected a target here and it was very scratchy, but it was hitting up in 45, 46 range. So let's see what this is. I actually pulled it out of the, I got it out of the plug and uh, I know it's right here. 46, 45 are very broken up. All right, squeeze. Look at that. It's a freaking fishy. Yes, fishy. Mm. Leave my fishies alone. There you go. Look at that. It's a little tiny fish scale. And it's got to be something else in there because it was scratchy. Let's see. Look at that. There you go. That would be the reason for it. There is a. Oops! Stop! 
piece of iron in there with it, and that would explain the fit, the, uh, the scratchiness to it. But lo and behold, cool. All right, so let's see what this is. Whoa. All right, I'm not rubbing it for all you people out there who say don't rub the silver. I'm just going to take a little bit of the dirt off. All right, so I can see it's a fishy. And with my bad eyesight, I can't see the date, so let me pull out my son of a... Mm. Here it is. Okay, so let's see what this is. Nice, it's a 1917. All right. 1917 fishy and that little tiny piece of iron which was giving me that scratchy signal. So that's cool. One silver for today. Hopefully many more. Okay, so why did you get this time? Don't sound so enthusiastic, honey. I uh, actually got my first large set because the last one we got was a token, but it was ringing up a 38 and there was other stuff in the hole. What I dug out first was a square bolt or screw. Anyways, and like he has taught me, I checked my hole again and dug into the side wall and pulled out this beauty right here. And I haven't looked at it. I don't know what's on it. I don't know how old it is, but that to me looks like a large scent, not a token. So, all right. Yeah. Well. Unveil is to come. <laughs> Let's see what it is then. Pick it up already. All right. I think it's a Vicky. Ooh. Really? I think so. Well, if you see a woman on there, then it's a Vicky. 1920. Then it's not a. Not a Vicky. <laughs> no. One side's really good. Oh, there you go. Now I see George's kit crown. King George facing. Nice. Way to yeah. go. Large penny. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And this, this side is really nice. And this side is really not. <laughs> All right. We're doing pretty good here today, aren't we? We're doing very good here. I am like quite content to yes. stay In here. this small area at about 100, 100 by 100. But every time we've come. Every spot we've hit, we found something. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. that's pretty good. Nice. Yep. Way to go. Beautiful. You can barely see these things, man. Look at that. Like, wow. Something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm cheating. <laughs> All right, yeah. Judy. Now she will remember this forever and ever. Look, it's not. Oh my god. Nice it's going. Canada. Thanks. Yeah. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> They're just, they hide so well in the dirt. And this one actually has like a, a different color. We all have our good days. Yep, exactly. Today we're both having a good day. Yeah, really well. right. Nice play. I just got a 1919. This is a nice signal. This is down to seven inches, reading up to 39 on the detector. I didn't said anything! <laughs> okay, so now I came up to Judy. She got a 40, 41. She called me over for this one from way afar as she already had it kind of out. So go ahead. <laughs> 